John Louis, Jeremy Chen, WDI.com. Don't think so loud. They can hear you. They can hear all of us. They can hear your thoughts. And they can hear my thoughts. <laughs> they can hear Kim Kardashian's thoughts. Does Kim Kardashian have thoughts? Anyway, they can hear us all. So be very, very quiet up here. Up here. It's the squirrels. It's the squirrels. They're in control. I always thought my life was my own, but it is not. It's the, been the squirrels all along. Right now, over our heads, there are vast squirrel motherships hovering, unseen, cloaked, waiting for the moment. Waiting for the moment. Squirrels. Intelligent. Clever. Devious. Calculated. And fuzzy. And, um... <laughs> They have thwarted pretty much my every move to uh, find a viable way of feeding the birds out here. Always one step ahead of you, right? Right? They're always one step ahead of you, John. Uh, initially, I had uh, put this plastic bird feed, this tubular thing, this three, four dollar piece of crap, uh, which has these plastic uh, perch attachments. And um, for like about a month, mysteriously enough, the squirrels left it alone. Uh, don't know what's up with that. It's a trap. It's always been a trap. But <laughs> they eventually did figure it out, and they uh, had it full, and they basically pried away uh, the plastic perch attachments and chewed big gaping holes in the thing and ate all the seed. So that didn't work, so I went out and... Uh, Bought this little bird zebo thing and put that up there, and that lasted all of about, I don't know, 10 minutes before the squirrels figured out they could just jump on it and knock all the seed out. Um, <clears throat> and um, so then I thought, well, why don't I try to keep it away from the squirrels' reach? So I put it on the string, and um, basically it just kind of <laughs> became like a little merry-go-round for the birds, and they weren't too thrilled about that. <clears throat> Um, and then I, you know, decided to put a little attachment, but the squirrels gnawed away at that, and they found a way to leap onto this thing still and knock all the seed out. So, I tried this thing, and it had pretty much the same effect. They just, you know, knocked the seed out of this one. So, as you'll see, I put it up against the yurt. So I've got the bird feeder <laughs> hanging right here from a hook little bird feeder. And then I got the suction thing, which proved to be completely useless with the uh, bendable quote-unquote window of the yurt. But I actually kind of positioned it inside there, and the suet feeder is right there. See, this is what I was hoping to avoid. <laughs> darting out in the traffic and those of us with a little bit of a conscience well we swerve we swerve when we end up smashing against a tree dead yeah all by design very calculating test testing they're always testing but someday it's not going to be a test and the squirrels will rise so I finally um, I finally had to replace <laughs> the wooden bird feeder and uh, with this squirrel-proof, uh, rather expensive feeder. Uh, but obviously it's well worth it because I get these guys, like, literally two feet away from me. And uh, <clears throat> I had it lower, but the squirrel kept jumping from, he'd get a foothold on the side of the yurt and then fling himself up to this thing. Unfortunately, it kept closing on him. Ha 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 ha. So... <laughs> So I raised it up even higher, and this morning the squirrel was still able to vault up to the thing. But um, much to his chagrin, uh, no seed for you. He's got his, uh, he's got the corn over there, though. So that's keeping him busy. And then I even raised the uh, suet feeder a bit. <laughs> but this is great because I get to sit here and, you know, work on stuff and have birds come and, you know frolic and fight right in front of me. Squirrel love is uh, out there. 
having jumped from here to there um, at a great distance and at great peril to himself. So I think uh, I'm going to convince the squirrel to not be there. Uh, and this is how I'll do it. Go, get, get, go, away, go, go. <laughs> I love squirrels, actually, and I've been putting corn out and everything for them. But my biggest thing is that they eat and they eat and they eat. And uh, I uh, can't afford to put a, you know, thing of suet in there every ten minutes. So, so sorry, squirrel. This is a most determined squirrel. <laughs> So this really is, you know, kind of one badass squirrel, um, because now, I mean, check out that height. Although the ladder is probably getting a bit of a foothold on that ladder, I would think. But looks like he's jumping up to that uh, crease in the yurt, which I could probably fix, gaining a foothold and then jumping up there and then going over to the sewer feeder. So I decided to try the Neville Chamberlain approach, the appeasement approach, and, uh, and thought, you know, maybe I can give them food and distract them. And uh, so I bought this thing, this kind of uh, spiral-shaped uh, squirrel feeder, and you put corn in it, and, uh, and basically the squirrels would come up and uh, knock the whole thing down onto the ground because it was so light, and then just abscond with the corn and uh, <laughs> and I'd have to like search through the undergrowth to find the thing. So then I bought one of these things and it's like this, uh, I don't know, it looks and smells like compressed sawdust, <laughs> but allegedly it has corn in it. It's really heavy and dense so the feeder doesn't fall off. But the squirrels don't seem to like it. However, the mice do. Every time I come home there's a smug, fat, a uh, mouse sitting atop the thing, chewing on it from the top down. So, don't know about that approach either. But interestingly enough, the squirrels have not been around that much uh, over the past week. They haven't really been uh, going for the suet feeder at all. And I don't know what's going on with that. So, this is the current state of affairs. Uh, I have bumped out the bottom of the yurt so the squirrels can no longer gain a foothold. And um, I raise the level of the suet feeder to make it even more challenging. So, of course, they decided that they're going to go from the top down. They just jump onto the top of the yurt, and then they slither down this thing and cling to the suet feeder and gnaw away at the suet. Uh, but, like I said, mysteriously enough, they uh, haven't been doing that over the past week or so, so I don't know what's up, but maybe they have seen it. Maybe they have uh, realized that. John Ludi is the better, <laughs> and that uh, that is weird. That's that's not a squirrel. That's the weirdest damn thing. What the hell is that? That's like a. Let this be a warning. Keep this under your hat. Your hat, and and don't think so loud. And oh crap! They've heard me. Yes, master. Coming, master.